Alright everyone, it's time for my next Q&A video, and here are the answers. Alan Stewart asks, What's your favorite and least favorite Pixar film? My favorite? No contest, Toy Story 3. And yes, I still think it's a masterpiece, even in spite of Toy Story 4 quote unquote ruining the movie. My least favorite would probably have to be Turning Red. Not that it's a bad movie, it's just kinda weird, especially the finale. A certain character transformation near the finale feels like a ripoff of a certain scene that happens when you side with Edelgard in three houses. I don't know why it feels like that, but then we have the final battle. Twerking? What were they thinking? That's disgusting and stupid! American Cat Lover asks, What's your favorite Paper Mario game? Even though for the longest time I kept telling myself Thousand Year Doors, when I really think about it, I like the original better. Not to come off as a nostalgia fanboy, then again I didn't really grow up with the first one, I first played it as a teenager. Who's your favorite Kirby character? I'd say Kirby, Meta Knight, and King DDD. What's your favorite video game franchise? Pokemon. An account asks, What do you think of the Cures of the Kingdom? It's a good game. The dungeons are definitely a step in the right direction from Breath of the Wild's dungeons, and there are some moments in it that feel so satisfying. Though I wish they would give a better clue of what you're supposed to do at times, and I also still miss the old Zelda formula. What do you think of the Super Mario RPG remake? I was excited when it was announced, and now that it's out, I do think it's a great remake so far. It has some cool new remixes, and it feels nice getting to experience this epic game again. Though I am annoyed with how your walking speed is slower than it was in the original, how sometimes you can hit the same enemy with attacks and one time it'll hit for like 20 damage, but the next time it hits for like 2, and how short the characters look. But at least it's an upgrade from Link's Awakening and Diamond and Pearl remakes, since this one actually had some new cinematics. What do you think of the Scarlet and Violet DLC? Assuming at least the first wave is out by the time of the Q&A. Well, the first wave was out, and it was pretty fun. I wish we got to see more of the characters from the main game, like Nimona and Arvin, though. But Kieran and Carmine are likable, too. Anna Zizka asks, Have you watched Bendy and the Dark Revival, and what are your thoughts? No, I haven't watched it, nor have I played the game. Thoughts on Elemental, and what was your favorite part of the movie? I love it, and I'm mad that everyone hates it, especially since I'm pretty sure they only hate it because they think it's cool to hate anything Disney nowadays. My favorite part of the movie would probably have to be where she was in Wade's house. I don't know why. Thoughts of the new teaser on the new Princess Peach game that was shown in the last Nintendo Direct? It might not be as good as Super Princess Peach, but I'm still looking forward to it because as much as I'm sick of Peach getting kidnapped, when she actually tries, Peach proves herself to be just plain awesome. Angel Oren Moore asks, What do you think about Charles Martinet retiring? I really liked his voice work for Mario, but at the same time, I don't think this will really be anything terrible. I mean, it'll take some time to get used to, but I think we'll get over it. Though there is something I find weird. I don't really understand why they need to use someone else for Mario in some of the upcoming Mario games, when most of the time, the voice clips of Mario are just repeated voice clips of him from previous games. So I don't really see the need to replace him in some instances. Just keep the voice clips you already have. But I understand his decision to retire, and once again, we'll get over it. Austin Sullivan asks, Thoughts on Adult Swim expanding to 5pm? It doesn't really matter to me, because I watch TV shows off streaming services now. And even then, I honestly don't know what to think of this. Bettmaster88 asks, Out of the many characters in Thomas, which one do you feel relates to you the most? That's a difficult question, probably Thomas. I don't know why, it might be because he's the star of the show. Brian Carrera's new channel asks, If you could have a favorite anime by Toei Animation, which one would it be? I haven't seen any. In fact, the only animes I've seen at all are Pokemon, Sonic X, and a few episodes of Fairy Tail. Cody Fan asks, Have you ever watched Total Drama or My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? I never found myself getting into them. Will you ever do a fully fledged Fairly Odd Parents video? The Secret Wish would be a good review. Why, yes, I am. I'm thinking of making a list of the worst Fairly Odd Parents episodes, though I might only talk about the ones from seasons 1 through 9, since I heard nothing but horrible, horrible things about season 10. There are a lot of episodes from seasons 1 through 9 that I still want to talk about, and I'm worried that if I include season 10, it'll kick off a lot of those episodes. And I'm also planning on doing a separate review of Timmy's Secret Wish, since I think it's safe to assume that episode will be on the list. But since giving a synopsis on it would take too long due to being an hour-long special, I'm going to do a separate video on it. Dark XYZ asks, Are you the angry video game nerd 2.0? I feel like you're probably trying to make a joke about how I rip out video games in my Everything Wrong With videos, and I honestly don't know how to answer that. Not saying there was anything wrong with your question, I just don't know how to respond. David Gonzalez asked, What world in Kingdom Hearts 4 would you want to see the most? I'd say either Frozen 2 or The Incredibles. Frozen 2 so we can actually have a chance of teaming up with Elsa, and because it would be nice to see an autumn level in Kingdom Hearts. But then again, we don't have any worlds from The Incredibles franchise, so that would be awesome too. 
Favorite Spider-Man? Probably Into the Spider-Verse. Did you see Across the Spider-Verse? Yep, and it was good, though it was also really confusing at times. Also, I preferred Into the Spider-Verse over it. Still like this one, though. David Mbamba asked, What is your favorite Pokemon of every type? You literally asked me that question last year. Do you really want to make me go through this again? But because I don't want to look like someone who's a jerk to their fans, then fine, I'll answer it again. My favorites are pretty much the same as they were last year. For Electric, probably Magnezone. For Poison, Chromat. For Fire, maybe Magmortar. My favorite Dragon type is Hydreigon. For Water, Kyogre. Fighting, Kamo O. Psychic, Lugia. For Ice, that's the only one where my answer has even slightly changed. My favorite last year was Articuno, but now I'm considering having it be either Articuno or Baxcalibur. For Rock, Aggron. Ground, Rhyperior. Bug, Volcarona. Normal, probably Snorlax. Fairy, Togekiss. Grass, probably Sceptile. Dark, Hydreigon. Ghost, Giratina. Steel, Aggron. And Flying, probably Rayquaza. Man, that was stressful having to answer that question again. I hope you actually paid attention this time, and if not, then too bad, I'm not answering it a third time. What was your luckiest moment in any game you've played? Probably catching a shiny Maryland Diamond. I could have easily counted any other instance of catching shiny Pokemon, but the difference here is that I caught this one in the Great Marsh where I was stuck with the weak Safari Balls and I had to worry about the risk of Meryl running away. If there was one thing you could change about Super Mario Bros. Wonder, what would it be? Maybe give it some more cinematics. I mean, it at least has some cutscenes, but it would be nice if there were a few instances of them not being so zoomed out. Am I the only one who would prefer that? I mean, I guess it makes sense since it's a 2D platformer, but I'd at least like them to be more zoomed in sometimes. The Cyrodox YouTube Poop asks, Which Paper Mario game do you most regret playing, Origami King. It's gotta have the most repetitive battle system I've ever seen since they're all glorified minigames that get extremely tiresome after a while. Have you ever thought of making an RPG yourself? Not unless you count ROM hacks. I'm thinking of one day making a Pokemon ROM hacks that are of Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, the Kingdom Hearts games, and maybe even Ocarina of Time. There are only two problems with that though. First off, because it would take a long time to make them and would be really hard to program. And because Nintendo was run by copyright Nazis, so not as many people would even be able to play it before Nintendo gets butthurt and takes it down, rendering all those days it'll take to make a ROM hack a huge waste of my life. Daigo03 asks, What game franchise do you think is overrated or you feel that isn't as good as people say? Definitely Rayman. Because these games are either unbelievably cheap or just plain weird. Especially Globox and Toiletin, I mean Clark. Who's your favorite and least favorite video game protagonist? For favorite, probably Sora. Least favorite? I might have to go with Rowan from Fire Emblem Warriors because he's honestly kinda annoying. I mean, I'm not going to keep holding an unhealthy grudge against him to the point where I'm completely toxic about it and keep forcing my hatred on him every time I get the chance like Green Scorpion does with Corrin, but I am still not a fan of Rowan. Duncan Stevens asks, Your output has been the slowest I've ever seen this year, especially with countdowns. Are we to expect you having just given up on that format and now focus only on everything wrong with videos and whatever those parodies on your other channel are? I actually haven't given up with countdowns. It's just I was way behind on my movie spoofs. I was off by an entire month. I'm not kidding. And even though I'm getting back on schedule with my spoofs, I still want to keep up for a reasonable amount of time. Then hopefully I'll have a reasonable schedule with my main channel again. Are we going to get another face reveal and update on your life? It would be cool to know what you were doing outside of the YouTube gig. Maybe I could do another face reveal someday and an update on life. I'm not entirely sure. I do appreciate the concern though. Do you regret sometimes being a little overly mean to people like me and that Francisco Tapia guy and Ana Zizka? I do think that maybe I was a little too harsh on you at times. I still think some of the things you said aren't very smart things to say, but I could have handled it better. Especially for a fan as big as you are. But with Francisco Tapia, I'd say my anger towards him was justified, with how he talks the way that I have to think about for probably like 5 minutes before I finally understand what the heck he's saying, and how he has an extremely unhealthy obsession with hating Mario Odyssey. I mean, it's okay to not like Mario Odyssey, but there's a huge difference between stating an opinion and constantly forcing said opinion down our throats. Heck, once he even accused Toasterita of being racist. Please tell me that Francisco Tapia is not that stupid. In fact, he has such an unhealthy grudge towards Mario Odyssey that he is obsessed with dislike bombing all of my spoof parts just because they use Mario Odyssey footage at times. I sincerely have no idea why I haven't blocked this brainless brat. Probably because there are a few times where I'm cool with him. As for Anushishka, when was I ever harsh on her? All I said was I had no plans of marrying her. It's no big deal, really. That doesn't mean I don't like her as a friend. MBRA1476 asks, What's your favorite Nintendo console? The Switch. Favorite Mario series? Probably Mario Kart. What do you think of the Donkey Kong Country series? Pretty good. I prefer Donkey Kong 64, but these games are good too. Enrique Pizarro asked, I think Azura from Fire Emblem Fates is better than Korin in every way. So why isn't she the main character? I don't know why. 
probably because they wanted to make the Avatar character the main character. And I do agree that she's one of the best waifus in the franchise. I personally don't think Korin is anywhere near as bad as some people make him out to be, but at the same time, yeah, Azura would probably have been a better main character. Can you tell me what are your least favorite Fire Emblem characters of all time? I better warn you, this will contain spoilers from Awakening, Fates, and Three Houses. The spoilers will end in the time frame I'm putting up right now. I hate Flavia from Awakening, because in the best ending, after you sacrifice your very existence to get rid of the evil Grima forever, Flavia, being the ungrateful scumbag she is, says horrible things about you, and acts like we don't care about them, even though we literally just sacrificed ourselves for everyone. If I ever do a classic run of Awakening, I am going to take away all of her weapons and have her get killed as soon as I recruit her, because she is a disgrace to the cast of Awakening. I also hate Grima because he's just your generic evil demon being resurrected who will take over the world, and Anankos because he's like that, except he ruins a lot of awesome plot points and has the dumbest design out of any Fire Emblem villain. And then we have those who slither in the dark, who literally destroy the entire point of the game's there's no good or bad in this game scenario. Why did you have to have some of the stupidest villains ever completely ruin that? Especially since they have no reason to do what they're doing other than we're evil. And lastly, Arvo from Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. You know how some people find Sothis extremely annoying because of her attitude? Well, at least Sothis was kinda cute. Imagine Sothis, except without her cuteness, replaced with an ugly design and a voice that's like nails on a chalkboard, and you're stuck with this character throughout the entire game, and now you have this guy. Of all games that will appear this year, what are the most exciting for you to play? Even though these games were already out by the time I answered these, Super Mario Bros. Wonder and the Super Mario RPG Remake. Extreme Fan 88 asks, which movie do you think is the most underrated? I don't know, I have a couple good candidates. Those would be Pokemon Destiny Deoxys, Cars 2, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, specifically the 2005 version. Francisco Tapia asked, was San Laura overshadowed by Sawsbuck? Now that you mention it, I think it might be. How can Dry Bowser spit fire if he appears to be missing the flame pipe? I don't know, magic maybe? Who's better, Sand or Mecha? Okay, so I was confused on what he meant. So he told me that he was referring to the copy abilities in Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I have no idea why the heck he felt the need to say who instead of what, just when I thought he was saying something sane for once. But I'll answer his question anyway. I prefer the sand ability. Gabriel Ortiz asks, What is your favorite movie? Frozen, without a single doubt. Gabriel Lover 64 asks, what are your thoughts on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I know these games aren't very good, but I consider them guilty pleasures. Though all of the 9 current generations, I'd have to rank them at number 6. I'd rank them higher if not for a lot of unpolished instances, and some annoying glitches which I thankfully only ran into two of. And I was one of the lucky ones who didn't get stuck with that save data glitch. Then again I heard that it might have only happened to people who downloaded the game instead of buying it physically, and that it might have been patched, but I'm not 100% sure. I heard someone say that Game Freak didn't even bother trying to patch it because of how rare it is, but I also heard some people say it was patched. I don't know who to believe, I hope the latter is telling the truth, and also because I honestly preferred it when games were more linear. Am I the only one who thinks that? Greninja the Mario Kart and Pokemon fan asks, How do you rank the 9 major Pokemon regions based on how they handle legendaries? From worst to best, I'd say generations 9, 2, 4, 1, 6, 8, 3, 7, and 5. Do you believe Kalos should have gotten a Pokemon Z? Yes, I feel like it should have. Especially with the way the anime teased us by giving a season called Pokemon XYZ. It would have been awesome seeing the Kalos region be expanded upon. Which Pokemon do you feel are overhated or feel aren't nearly as bad as people make them out to be? Aurorus is definitely one of them. It's a very unique Pokemon and it gets a lot of backlash for having two quadruple weaknesses. Yet I never hear anyone complain about Golem or Parasect having the same problem. I also think that Meganium and Stunfisk get more hate than they deserve. Gwen Lillis is the Snake Reviewer asked, Who's better, Movie Peach or Edelgard, and why? That's a tough one. On one hand, Edelgard is my waifu, but on the other hand, Movie Peach is the waifu that she should have been in the games. I'd probably say Edelgard is better overall. Akim822 asks, Are you upset about the fact that the majority of people who played Sticker Star hate it? Kind of, but at the same time, I can't think a lot of good defensive arguments for its terrible gameplay choices. There are only two defensive arguments I can come up with. The fact that everyone called this the death of the Paper Mario series, even before Color Splash and Origami King even came out. The other one is mainly a defensive argument towards Chugga Conroy, where he just idled in quicksand for too long and died because of it, and then he just sunk his lowers to blame the game for his failure, even though that part was his own fault. I still love Chugga Conroy's videos, but this part of his Sticker Star rant was just terrible. But yeah, aside from that, I do think everyone's arguments towards the game are justified. Especially with the argument about how the game doesn't give us any hints of what we're supposed to do at times. I mean, I have no idea why the heck it took everyone this long to finally bring up that argument. But yeah, that is an understandable argument. Are you upset about the fact that the majority of the people who played Paper Mario the Origami King loved it? Well, 
a little bit, since I kind of wanted to like that game, and even though I don't like it, I feel like my hatred for it might be unjustified since it did answer some of my prayers of having proper story elements, not relying on consumable weapons anywhere near as much, and finally giving us a villain who isn't Bowser. And to be fair, I've also met a bunch of people who agree with me that Origami King isn't very good, but hey, teach their own. When do you plan on making everything wrong with videos on modern Paper Mario games? No rush. Thank you for being more patient with me than all the people who keep harassing me to do Paper Jam. Anyways, I'm hoping to do Sticker Star next year. It's just that I've been really behind on my movies boost for the past two years. And even though I'm pretty much caught up, I also have a lot of footage I want to put together for my Home Alone spoof, especially of Delia Ketchum and Robotnik, and I don't want to take too much time. Jake Cook asks, Do you plan on making any more commentaries? Why, yes I do! As a matter of fact, after you posted that comment, I did one on Alex and Josh's hated characters list, and I'm planning on doing one on Robert 628s commentary on my Recoded rant. And I'm also considering doing some commentaries on Oliver 88 Arts commentary on my Wave 3436 commentary, as well as some other older videos. I know they're old, but I heard it's okay as long as you use that as a way to help the viewers know what not to do. How come you don't swear in your videos? Because that's just how my parents raised me. Out of your older videos, which one do you regret the most? Even though the one I'm going to list isn't what I think of as the worst video out of all of my older videos, but I do have the most regrets of it, it would probably be my commentary on Death Through 247. I had no idea who this guy was, so I had no idea what I was getting into when I commentated on him. But what I should have known was that when Rome was requesting me to do it, it was all a trap. He wanted me to do the commentary because according to him, Devster was like the easiest person to do a commentary on, and he wanted me to get even more hate than I already got. So yeah, his commentary request was actually a scam to make me look even worse than I already was. But it was still a big mistake of me to trust him because he was pretty toxic back then. Jammer439Y8 asked, Are there any works of fiction you like but at the same time you think are overrated? With provided reasons as to why you think said works of fiction are overrated. Well, as I said in my overrated movies list, there is Shrek which I definitely like, but I don't think it deserves to be labeled as one of the best movies ever made, like so many people proclaim. There's also the movie Pinocchio, because while it's in no way a bad movie, this movie's fans have become extremely toxic after the remake came out last year, worshipping the original on a golden pedestal and using the animated version as their evidence of how Disney was only good in the classic era and how nowadays Disney is completely ruined forever. I'll admit, their complaints towards the remake do sound justified, but people need to understand that there's more to Disney than just their remakes. Especially since they treat the remakes like they're the absolute worst thing known to mankind. I mean, chill out everyone, they're just bad movies. Nothing to get this mad over. I'll admit, I get mad at bad forms of media too, but at least I don't go to this extreme about it. These fans need to stop being so toxic. What's your opinion on the following Kirby characters? Magalore, Susie, and Specimen IDF86. I like Magalore and Susie, but I embarrassingly don't remember much about Specimen IDF86. What's your opinion on the final boss of Splatoon 3 Zero Mode? I haven't reached it, weirdly enough. I don't know if it's because it's long for Splatoon standards, if I'm not mistaken, or because I was busy playing other games. I don't know. Johnny Gallagher asks, Have you watched Dinosaur King? I don't know if I've even heard of it. Why do you hate Rampage 2018? Because it expects us to sympathize with a monster destroying the town after spending like three minutes establishing its friendship with the main characters, and it basically teaches people that it's okay to kill someone you don't like. Do you watch Small Soldiers? Never heard of it. Josh McCallop asked, Do you have a favorite song from Goddess of Victory, Nikki? I have no idea what that is. Favorite incarnation of Rainbow Road? The one from Mario Kart 7. Favorite gym leader from Generation 9? I don't know. She's definitely one of the best Paldean waifus. And Warning! Spoilers from later in the game! She is the best Paldean waifu who is still alive, considering how Professor Sada unfortunately died. Why did this have to happen to the hottest woman in Paldea? But yeah, I don't know what's new best Paldean waifu. And she's easily my favorite Paldean gym leader. Much better than the completely overrated and boring character Larry! JT64 asked, Who's your favorite spoofers? I'd say JB Eagle, WRJ, WRJ, and Green Guy 2187 Who's your favorite Thomas and Friends characters? I'd say Thomas, Henry, Gordon, James, Donald, Douglas, and Mavis. What's your favorite vocal songs in the Kingdom Hearts games? Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts 2. Kendrick Truong asks, If you were to rank each video game movie you saw, what would be your least favorite to favorite? Well, it would take forever to rank all the Pokemon movies I saw, so I'll ignore those ones, except for Detective Pikachu. Anyways, they'd be in this order from least favorite to favorite. The live-action Mario movie, Sonic 2, Detective Pikachu, Sonic 1, and the Super Mario Bros. movie. Who's your favorite characters in Scarlet and Violet? Probably Iono, Arvin, and Crazy Yander Girl. I mean, Nimona. Did you get the chance to try the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection? I currently don't plan on it. 
Kirby the Artist asked, What would you like the sequel to the Super Mario Bros. movie to be about? I don't know. I have a feeling it would probably have Peach get kidnapped, which you guys should know how sick I am of that. But I'll forgive that if they still have her prove herself in spite of that. Then again, considering how awesome Peach was in the first movie, we'll just have to wait and see. What are your thoughts on Nick also brawling its sequel? I wasn't a fan of the original, so I don't really have any plans of getting the sequel either. I did hear that the sequel was a lot better than the first, but I still currently don't really have any reason to. I'm surprised he even got a sequel so fast, considering how Smash Brothers games are spaced much farther apart. What are your thoughts on the Wish Disney movie if you've seen it? I saw it yesterday and it was definitely a magical experience. The songs were nice and there were a lot of instances where it seemed like it really is trying to be a Disney classic. One of the very few flaws I found with this movie is that there were some instances where it seemed like it's trying a bit too hard to reference other Disney movies. But then again, I guess it at least kind of makes sense, what with it being Disney's 100th anniversary. I wouldn't say this is in my top 25, but by all means, it was still great. Which makes it even more infuriating that everyone is already constantly jumping on this movie and calling it the worst thing ever. Remember earlier in Anazizka's question when I talked about people hating Elemental just for being a newer Disney movie? Well, this situation somehow manages to be even worse. Because at least with Elemental, they waited to start being toxic with their hatred towards it, and at least they weren't this obnoxious with their hatred towards it. This time, however, everyone instantly started mindlessly bashing it and everything about it, and got this mad over the movie this fast. It's not even like with Ralph Breaks the Internet or Strange World where their problems are more obvious than this movie's problems. This is a movie that I have to really, really think about to find anything that would cement it as terrible. You know what's really sad? This movie put me in a good mood, and then these hate brats came along and ruined my good mood. Not saying everyone who hates these movies is toxic, just that a lot of them are. Laura Guile might ask, What are the best and worst songs you have ever heard and why? For best, I'd probably say Let It Go as well as a lot of Christmas songs. Because they are just beautiful to listen to. I can't really come up with a better explanation than that. So the worst? I'm probably gonna have to go with Sexy and I Know It for being quite possibly the most disgusting song in the world and nearly every song in Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. Because they kind of hurt my ears and give me a headache. Especially when Belle sings. Because compared to her singing voice in the first movie, her singing voice in the sequel is just grating. I don't know if it's off key or because her voice cracked or something, but whatever the reason, it's just really hard to listen to. If DreamWorks wants to make a video game movie, which video game series that has not already gotten a film adaptation this decade do you think would fit best as a DreamWorks film? I don't know, maybe Banjo Kazooie? Who's your favorite cartoon character? Probably SpongeBob. Luigi Man asked. Will you ever remake your old Mario RPGs ranked video to include the newer games in your updated opinions? I don't really plan on it anytime soon. I've thought about it, but yeah, I don't plan on it as of currently. Favorite everything wrong with video you've worked on? That would probably have to be the one I did on Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Do you like Star Wars? Well, I don't enjoy them as much as I should, but I do think it's pretty enjoyable, and I do love the Star Wars land at Disney World. Lori Taylor asked, Best and worst movies released this year? For best, I'd say the Mario movie with Elemental and Wish close behind. As for worst, I don't know. I don't recall hating any movies of this year. I'd say the closest I can think of is Teenage Kraken, if only because it made an extremely stupid move of making its villain a twist villain, despite the fact that they confirmed that she was evil in the trailer. Thoughts on Final Fantasy 16? Haven't played it. Thoughts on the Paradox Pokemon Iron Bundle, the future equivalent of Delibird? I haven't really seen its battling capabilities, but it does seem much more competent than its useless original counterpart Delibird. Though I also kinda wish it wasn't evolution to Delibird, but Let's be real, I also kind of wish that about pretty much all Paradox Pokemon. Logician asks, Is the coming soon turtle from the Fun Brain Arcade still your fourth most hated video game character? No, he isn't. He wasn't even in the remake of the list. You know why? Because I realize that he's more of just a coming soon screen than a character. So yeah, I realize that he's not actually a character. I still hate how the Fun Brain Arcade was too stupid to not have released Crack Hopper, even after five years, and I haven't touched the Fun Brain Arcade ever since because of how stupid these guys were. But yeah, it was stupid to regard a coming soon screen as a character. Master Marks asks, What was your opinion on Disney's Illusion Island? I don't know for sure, I haven't played it. After you asked that question, I did check out the trailer, and while I'm not really a fan of the graphical style, the platforming itself does look pretty fun, though it also gives me Rayman vibes, which some of you probably know how much I hated that game. Guess it's only fitting since it got mid-reviews. What was the worst game you played this year? Sonic Superstars, because it's just a nostalgia pandering rehash. It doesn't show any originality whatsoever compared with its far superior Mario counterpart, Mario Wonder. What videos do you plan on remaking or remastering in the future? I'm thinking of maybe remaking my hardest bosses list, probably as a 20th anniversary special, a remake of my hardest first bosses, easiest final bosses, and some of my music countdowns, especially my desert and water themes lists. Matthew Gaming asks, Which sounds better, a bazooka that fires out insane kittens or a pistol that shoots out pre-lit stacks of dynamite? Probably the kitten one since it sounds less dangerous. 
just as long as you can find a safe landing for the kittens. Who told you that this is a bad word? You do realize it means you aren't good at something because you're new to it, right? The reason I regard it as a bad word is because I've seen a lot of times where people censor the word by replacing the O's with zeros, so that's why I believe it's a swear. Michelle Magnuson asked, If you saw Hell's Kitchen, what's your favorite season so far? I haven't seen it, nor do I know anything about it. Have you watched Angry Grandpa before? I haven't seen it, nor do I know anything about that either. Miss Cookie Man 145 asks, What is the most underrated or overrated SpongeBob game? Well, I've only played three non crossover SpongeBob games. Four if you count Rehydrated, those being Battle for Bikini Bottom on the PS2 and Switch, as well as Battle for Bikini Bottom of the GBA, which, yes, is a completely different game, and the SpongeBob movie game. But I'd probably have to say Battle for Bikini Bottom GBA would have to be the most underrated. I don't know what the most overrated one would be. The closest to one I can really think of is the PS2 version of Battle for Bikini Bottom. But I do not think that game's overrated at all. It's just that it's the closest I could find to an overrated Spongebob game out of the ones I've played. What are your thoughts on the user Dogs Eating Dogs 6? I've never heard of this user. Would you ever do ranking videos? Well, I have done some countdowns that could be considered ranking videos, such as Top 14 Zelda games, Top 5 Pokemon Generations, for those of you who are confused, that was back in 2013, so there were only 5 generations back then, Top 13 Gen 3 Water Pokemon, as well as my list of games I've played in certain years. Niall Alakan asks, What are movies that you hate or dislike that everyone loves or likes? Christmas Story, Deadpool, Breakfast Club, and Austin Powers. Even though Breakfast Club is the only one of the four that I actually hated. What do you think is the worst Sonic game? Sonic 3D Blast. What is your least favorite video you've ever made? I've made some pretty big blunders over the years. Probably my one shot on Becca Faye that I did earlier this year, because so far it's my only video to date that came off as genuinely hateful. And yeah, I definitely see the problems with my video. With how needlessly hateful I was coming off. The reason I thought it was okay, and don't take this as a defensive argument, I'm not saying this is really an excuse, but the reason I thought it was okay was because at multiple points of the Mounties commentary on my Killjoys list, he came off as needlessly hateful, and people saw him as cool for doing so, so that's why I thought it was okay. And yeah, I shouldn't have assumed that Becca was mocking her audience. I was just thinking way too hard about the video, it's just sometimes it feels that way to me. And I also didn't realize that what I was doing was gaslighting, so I apologize for that. And there's my you're an insult to woman statement. I had no idea how sexist that would come off. I respect both men and women, and I should have known that insult to woman statement would be sexist, so I don't blame people for getting mad at me for what I said there, and I apologize for that too. This is no joke, my first time in several years where I deleted a video because of how ashamed I was of it. And if deleting videos out of shame is something I don't usually do, but did this time, you know we've got a bad video on our hands. However, I also want to make a bit of a defensive argument. No, this isn't me defending what I did, it's me saying that people treat this issue like it was a bigger deal than it actually is. I mean, yeah, it is a big deal, but everyone keeps making claims that I am literally no better than I was back in 2011, even though I clearly have got better. Sure, I still have flaws, but one train wreck of a video in eight years doesn't mean I'm just as bad as I was back then. And everyone was also complete morons who just assumed that because I felt that Becca should have told me what I was doing was wrong, then that means that I am not really sorry. How stupid is everyone? If I feel she's also partially to blame, that doesn't mean that I'm not really sorry. It just means that I think she's partially at fault too, just not as much as I am. And also, the fact that when I admitted that I tried to remind Becca and point to her where she was laughing, everyone completely twisted that up and assumed that I was trying to deceive her, even though it's not deceiving if I was showing her something that she did do, even if her intents weren't as malicious as I thought they were. And people think that way I acted towards her was literally just as bad as the way I stalked for Shutsu back in 2011, even though it's nowhere near that bad, because instead of bothering her on a daily or weekly basis, I gave Becca probably like months of a break before I got back to her. I mean, sure, I can see the problem with that, but how the heck is it just as bad as when I obsessed over Roshitsu? And it got worse when Loudon entered the situation. It's not the fact that he commentated on my one-shot that I take issue with, it's how he went about doing it. And he also made a disclaimer telling the audience not to attack me, even though when people did harass me, Loudon completely supported their decision to do that, proving that his disclaimer was just a bunch of bogus. He only put that disclaimer there to make himself look like the good guy, and I bet he must have also sent secret messages to all his friends telling them to harass me anyway. But even still, I won't deny that that one shot was bad, and I apologize to everyone I offended in the one shot. 
Nate Clone asks, If Kingdom Hearts 4 does end up having Disney Worlds, what property would you like to see get a world in it? I'd like to see Frozen 2, Star Wars, and The Incredibles. And the Moana World. How do you rank Murkrow and Hunkrow among other bird Pokemon? I don't know how I'd rank them. They wouldn't be very high, but I'd say they wouldn't rank too badly. What's your opinion on the SpongeBob episode, Kieran's Baby? I don't remember much of it, but I'll say I must have thought it was okay. Night Guy asks, Do you like Lego? Yes, I like to play with Legos. Have you played Nintendogs? Why, I don't believe I have. I think my sister has though, but that was a long time ago. Do you like seals and sea lions? Yes, I like them. I like seals better though. Paper Brothers asks, What is the best Pokemon remake? Heart Gold and Soul Silver by far, because unlike the other three, they actually had a lot of features from the third versions of the original games. I'd go with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire if they didn't take away so many things I loved about Gen 3. Do you think The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom should be $70? No, because as many people have pointed out, Switch games are overpriced. I can afford them since I have a job, but people who don't have jobs aren't as fortunate. What is the most overrated Nintendo game? Probably Breath of the Wild, because while it's still good, everyone made Nintendo make its formula the new norm, and now it seems like it's going to ruin the Zelda series. I apologize if I sound like I'm saying that change is bad, but this is not the Zelda we've grown to love in the past several years. Parker Dolan asks, Which Mario game are you the most excited about? I don't know why, but I'll probably say the Mario RPG remake, even though it was already out by the time this video was released. What's your thoughts on the Super Mario Bros. movie? Without a doubt, Illumination's best movie they've made as of currently. Much better than overrated, I mean Despicable Me. I loved all the Mario references. It was nice seeing our characters actually have vocal dialogue for the first time in decades. And as I said in Gwen's question, Peach is definitely the waifu that she should have been in the games. And yeah, Jack Black is perfect as Bowser, and I can imagine that he probably had a lot of fun with this role. For some reason, I didn't mind his love for Peach as much as I do in the games. I don't know if it's because of the song, or because Peach still gets a chance to prove herself, I don't know. Pink Meow Stick 89 asks, What would you say are your favorite and least favorite parts of the Super Mario Bros. movie? My favorites would probably be the Fire Flower Field, Rainbow Road, and the training course scenes. My least favorite? Probably the ones at the beginning of the movie. Not that they were bad, it's just that they weren't in the Mushroom Kingdom yet, which is where most of the exciting stuff happens. But I do understand the opening scenes are needed in order to establish the characters and how they got there. If you had to choose the cast for future Mario movies, who would you choose? I don't know, maybe Mark Rowe as Mario and Luigi. If you're wondering, he played them in Hotel Mario. And I think it would be interesting to see him voice them just for the lulls. Just as long as it doesn't get too annoying. Though I would also like Tony Rosado to be the voice of Luigi. In case you're wondering, he voiced Luigi in the cartoon. And it would also be nice to see Adina Menzel play Rosalina and maybe Chris and Bella as Daisy. Pokehero101 asked, What is the worst video game you've ever played? I've said this on multiple of these, but Final Fantasy 3 for the DS. What made you want to start YouTube? I just happened to stumble upon it one day and saw some great videos that looked fun, so I wanted to make some of them. What's a movie or game coming up that you'd really like to see or play? Well, I'd really like to see Zootopia 2, Frozen 3, Inside Out 2, and if we're counting movies that weren't out by the time you asked your question but are now, Wish. As for games, Shantae Advanced Risky Revolution, Princess Peach Showtime, The Dark Moon Remake, Metroid Prime 4, and Kingdom Hearts 4. And if you count ones that weren't out yet at the time you asked, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Sonic Superstars, and the Super Mario RPG Remake. Rabbit Gamer King asked, What tracks and characters do you want in the last wave of the Mario Kart 8 Booster Pass? I was hoping maybe we could get Fawful as a character, and that maybe some of the last tracks would be SNES Vanilla Leg 2, GC and Rainbow Road, and Wario Coliseum. Unfortunately, it seems like neither of that stuff happened. I mean, the last move is still great, though. Do you think Sega should make spin-off games for Sonic characters like Nintendo's done with Luigi's Mansion, WarioWare, and others? Well, they actually have with games like Knuckles' Chaotix, Tails' Adventure, etc. But I do think they could make more modern ones with actual cinematics. What game would you want to remake of? Kid Icarus Uprising, and I'd maybe like the Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh games to get the Let's Go treatment. And since Link's Awakening got a remake, maybe we could get Oracle Remix too. I just hope they actually have more added cinematics and actually modernized graphics instead of the nostalgia pandering ones that the Link's Awakening and Sinnoh remakes had. And I'd also like a Partners in Time remake, though that's probably unlikely. Ready to Animate asked, What's your favorite Mario boss? I don't know, probably the final boss of 3D World? What's your favorite episode from the original Looney Tunes or Mary Melody theatrical shorts? This might just be the hardest question to answer in this whole Q&A. Not trying to judge, just saying that this was really difficult to answer because there are probably like hundreds to choose from. Well, I did like shorts such as Frigid Hair, as well as some of the Foghorn Leghorn shorts. It's weird, I can't decide which ones stick out to me the most. I hope my answer didn't disappoint you. Have you seen my Origami King creepypasta called Bobby's Journey? I'm sorry to say I haven't. Riley the Mario fan asks, Which Mario & Luigi game do you like better, Superstar Saga or Bowser's Inside Story? No contest, Superstar Saga by far. Which Mario brother is your favorite? Mario. Which Kirby power-up do you think is the worst? 
metal because it makes you go at completely molasses speed and it sucks all the fun out of playing Kirby. No pun intended. Robert628 asks, Are you excited for Kingdom Hearts 4? Yep, I am. My only worry is that it might not have many Disney worlds, if at all, considering where Sora was trapped in this game. Are you ever going to remake your least favorite video games? I currently don't have much of a reason to, since most of the entries on the list would just be ones that were on the original, and even the new ones would be entries that I've already talked about on multiple occasions with nothing new added, so I just come off as a broken record. Rowan I came here 185 asks, have you seen the Starter Squad? It's made by the same guy who made Smash Tasm. Why, yes I have. And it's not bad, but also not something that I'd find myself coming back to. I have a great idea for your Everything Wrong With series. How about you make Everything Wrong With videos on Fire Emblem games? I'm thinking of maybe doing it someday. I am considering setting three houses. There are only two problems though. One is that I might miss the point of a lot of scenes because the game is so confusing that it makes Kingdom Hearts look simple. And because it's so long that I might have to make the video at least twice as long as most of my other Everything Wrong With videos. And for anyone who asks, I currently don't have any plans of setting three hopes. Seamus Boucher asks, Have you ever played any of the Neptunia games? No. What do you think of console challenges? By that he means challenges where you play every single game on a single console. It does sound like a pretty awesome idea, but I don't think I'll be doing any since I'm sure there are dozens of games I'd have to play that I'm not interested in in order to pass that challenge. Have you considered showing your face more often in your videos? Maybe. I haven't decided on it, though I have shown my face in some of my movie spoof videos, specifically in my Metabob Toon Pence episodes, The Mediking, The Mediking 2, and my Hocus Pocus spoof. And I also have plans of doing it again in my Anastasia spoof I'm playing next summer. In fact, I already got a bit of footage for it. Sage Diamond asks, When the Mario RPG remake comes out, do you think you'll make an everything wrong with video just like you did with the original game? I probably wouldn't have much of a reason to, since I already sent the original, so I'd mainly just be repeating the sins from the original. Unless I run out of things I'd be interested in sending, maybe I could someday, but it might not be out for a long time. So far, what do you think of what they showed for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I haven't seen it, I haven't played the games either, but I've been considering giving the movie a try, at least until I heard that it wasn't very well received by critics. Then again, I love the Mario movie despite its poor critic scores, so maybe I'll think about it. Are there any games everyone hates except you? Oh yes! Definitely! Fire Emblem Fates, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Fire Emblem Engage, Paper Mario Sticker Star, though their complaints towards it are justified for the most part, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, Kingdom Hearts 350 over two days, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, Yoshi's Island DS, Yoshi's New Island, Sonic Lost World, and that's only including the ones I can think of. Sonic Says asked, Any thoughts on the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder game? It looked like a pretty neat game when it was revealed, being a 2D Mario that isn't yet another new Super Mario Bros. game. And it had a cool art style, plus the ability to play as Peach and Daisy is also welcome in my book. And when it actually came out, it was definitely a lot of fun, especially all the Wonder gimmicks. Though if there are any problems I have with it, it's that they put Bowser Jr. as every main boss, and they made Yoshi and Nabbit invincible. Also, I love that they're okay with showing Peach's panties in this game, but not in Smash Brothers. Even still, I love this game. Shannon the Fangirl asks, There were rumors that Illumination, the same studio that made the Super Mario Brothers movie, is working on making a Zelda movie. If the rumors end up being true, do you think the movie will end up being good? It probably wouldn't be in very good hands with Illumination, but ever since you asked that there was a live-action Zelda movie that was confirmed, I would have definitely looked forward to it, but after watching the Zelda cartoon, I realized that the idea of a Zelda movie might not be as exciting as I thought it was, since they'll likely have to make Link talk. I wouldn't mind Link talking, but I'm worried that they might make him like they did in the Zelda cartoon or in the CDIs, which are by far his worst performances ever, so I'm worried they're going to make Link like this. I mean, there's nothing saying he would be like this, since the Mario movie made a lot of Super Mario Bros. Super Show references, so who's to say they won't reference the Zelda cartoon in the Zelda movie? Granted, it did work with Mario, but it won't work here. There's still a chance they might actually make Link a respectable character, and not give him any stupid lines like, Gee, it sure is boring around here, or, well, excuse me, princess, but I'm not getting my hopes up. What's your favorite kind of cookie? I'd say frosted cookies. Silver Crow asks, What's your favorite Kirby boss or ability? P.S. You meant to put 2023, you silly goose. Yeah, I accidentally put 2013 in the announcement when I meant to put 2023 in it. Anyways, as I was saying, my favorite Kirby ability is probably the hammer, and my favorite boss is probably Star Dream. Swaglord1000 asks, If Nintendo were to bring back one of their dead franchises, which one would you want to be back? I'd say F-Zero. 
And no, F-099 doesn't count. Have you ever heard of Pokemon Conquest? Yes, I've played it, and I wasn't a fan of it, because it's way too slow, and the atmosphere and music are boring. I don't mind other people liking it, though. Sword Cheesecake 203 asks, What toppings do you like on your pizza? I like it as just plain cheese pizza. I mean, I don't mind sausage or mushroom pizza, but I just like cheese pizza. What are your opinions on Sonic Unleashed and Sonic the Werehog? I love Sonic Unleashed. It's one of my favorite Sonic games. And I think Sonic is cool as a werehog. I like him better as a hedgehog, but he's not half bad as a werehog. What do you think of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? I haven't read it. Tanner asks, Ever played Persona 5? No, I haven't. I'm not really a Persona fan. DAW Productions asked, If you were to fix SpongeBob your fire, how would you do it? Well, I wouldn't have the scenes drag on for anywhere near as long, and I'd especially cut down on SpongeBob's crying. I'd say it could probably even work as a four minute short. And I'd get rid of the part where Mr. Krabs reveals that he installed a paid toilet at the end. Things you refuse to watch or play? I definitely have some answers for that. One of the things I don't want to watch is South Park, for a couple reasons. First off, because the jokes I've heard from it are lame. A lot of them are like, HA 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 POOP IS FUNNY! OH LOOK, THERE'S A POOP WITH A SANTA HAT ON IT! OH AND LOOK AT THAT, THE CHARACTERS ARE BOUNCING ON THEIR NAKED REAR ENDS! ISN'T THAT HILARIOUS?! Probably the only joke from it that I actually know of that got any laugh out of me would probably be that Social Justice 1 through 3 song. And I think that's only because it makes me laugh seeing how people used to use that song to mess with Copper Cap. Speaking of him, there was a time where it parodied his Gingers Have Souls video, which the thought of that is actually a really funny thought, but I watched the scene and... Let's just say that the actual video it's parodied was much funnier than the parody itself. Another reason I don't have any interest in it is because it looks like it was animated by a three-year-old. Maybe that's the joke of it, but I still think it looks way too ugly to look at. And my attempts to avoid the show aren't even helped by how toxic a lot of the fanbase is. A lot of them even became as racist as the jokes in it, and anyone who isn't cool with being mistreated for being a different race becomes one of the biggest laughing stocks on the entire internet. Okay, to be fair, not all South Park fans are racist, but a big chunk of them are. Not only that, but they also caused the population of the entire planet to become extremely racist against redheads. And anyone who is not okay with that becomes the laughing stock of the internet, all because they're taking a cartoon too seriously. I just don't get the praise for the show. I don't mean to diss on people who like it, I just don't get the praise. Speaking of not getting the praise for something, Inspector Gadget. I talked about why I think this show sounds stupid on PM1's Crystallized Productions question last year, so I'll give a quick summary of my reasons. The theme song sounds really boring, Dr. Claw seems like a generic and lame villain, and Gadget himself is an idiot who doesn't deserve any of the credit he takes for saving the day when all he does is sit around and make things worse while his niece is the one who actually saves the day. And besides, I had never even heard of the show until I was like 17. As for games I don't have any interest in playing, the Dylan's Rowing Western games. I have played the first, and it was literally just a glorified enemy gauntlet, not much else to it. So why should I even bother with the rest of the series? There are plenty of other infamously bad games I'm avoiding, like Sonic 06 and Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, but if I listed them all, we'd be here all day. Tess McGrath asks, What games do you wish would get a sequel? I'd say Ice Climber, The Zelda DS Duology, Super Mario RPG, a new Pokemon Ranger game, and a new Mario & Luigi RPG sequel, even though that last one seems unlikely as of now. Have you ever tried the Grimace Shake? No. The Stargazer asks, Do you plan on making a collab? I'm hoping to collab with some people. I have done two collabs in the past. One is a collab counting with the guild mess around overrated and underrated bosses, which was a terrible collab. And I did a co-op commentary with Transformers Fan Code 328 on Rowan Akamia 185. I'm hoping to maybe do some more co-op someday. Opinion on Pikmin 4? It's definitely a masterpiece. While it didn't have a very inspiring start, it became a lot more fun when we got to the actual levels. The Strange 2 asks, Have you tried the Shin Megami Tensei series? No, I haven't. What's your thoughts on the new DLC fighters in Ultimate? In order of when they were released, Piranha Plant was surprisingly fun with how many moves they were able to come up with for a normal enemy, I don't really have an opinion on Joker, mainly because I don't play Persona. Hero didn't seem like a bad choice. Banjo was one of my favorites. Terry I found to be only decent, mainly because I've never heard of his respective franchise. I love Byleth's inclusion, and I'm one of the few who was actually hoping for him to get in. I don't play Armas, but I do think Min Min is an awesome character. Steve seems like a pretty neat choice. Sephiroth is also a great choice. Pyra and Mithra are fun, but it doesn't feel right bringing them in, but not Rex. I think Kazuya is an interesting choice, though I haven't played his series, so I'm not that excited for him. And I also don't understand what he's trying to do by just sacrificing people to do something in this trailer. And as for Sora, I have been waiting 13 years for him, but now we finally have him. He might even be my new main. I hope he comes back in the next Smash. Is there anything you want to get into? I'm thinking of maybe getting into Gravity Falls, but for some reason I just never did, even after 11 years. I'm also thinking of maybe getting into SML's videos, assuming that counts, and maybe I could also try out the Monster Hunter games, since Wrath Alone seems kinda neat in Smash Ultimate, but I still don't have any plans of it yet. I'm also planning on 
may be getting into Knights, Ridge Racer, Spark the Electric Jester, Super Kiwi 64, and some others. And in the past year, I've been considering maybe going back to watching Cyber Chase, since I used to love that show as a kid. There are only two things that make me a little hesitant to come back to it. One of those two being that I'm worried that people will think I'm weird for being a grown adult watching a show that's for little kids. The other being that I remember it being really weird at times. But I guess I'll just have to wait and see. The RWS Geek asks, are there any games you hope will be ported to Switch? I want Kid Icarus Uprising to be ported to it. How would you rank the Thomas narrators? Well, I've only seen the model series so far, aside from one episode of the CGI era. So all of the model series narrators, I'd say from worst to best, Michael Angelis, yes, I said it, I don't like his narration, Michael Brandon, Pierce Brosnan, who if you're wondering was a narrator for Great Discovery, and as for the next one, Alec Baldwin, and the top two are actually a tie between Ringo Starr and George Carlin. What are your thoughts on the announcement of a Toy Story 5? I know a lot of people are really mad at it, but I honestly don't think there's that much of a reason to be mad. Considering how according to all the haters' stupid logic, Toy Story 4 already ruined Toy Story 3 for them by making Toy Story 3's ending no longer the ending to the series, so I don't think Toy Story 5 would really do any more damage. Anyways, I still think it has a chance of being good. I'm still more excited for Frozen 3 and Zootopia 2, but I'm interested to see what Toy Story 5 is like. Thomas's Media Corner 2001 asks, Favorite cartoons you like that everyone else hates? Does the Gen 5 saga of Pokemon count? If not, then I'd say Sonic X. Favorite cartoons you don't like that everyone else loves? That's a very confusing way to word it. Okay, so I asked him, and he said he means that they're so bad that they're good in an ironic way. In that case, I don't know. I don't recall seeing any cartoons that I thought were so bad that they're good. Favorite cartoons to sit down and watch in front of the TV despite being canceled early? Probably the Super Mario World cartoon. I don't know how early they'd have to be to be considered being canceled early, but this is one of the very few that I can think of. Well, assuming that it actually wasn't cancelled earlier and that they actually planned on making it only 13 episodes the whole time. Tony Sonic 456 asks, If a Metroid movie was made, do you think it should be live action or animation? Well, I've heard people say it would make more sense as live action, so probably that. What are your thoughts on Fire Emblem and Gage? I think it's quite underrated. If you've seen the new TMNT movie by the time the Q&A is ready, what do you think of it? Haven't seen it. TunyKid1024 asks, What are your thoughts on the new Playdate with Willie the Pooh shirts for Disney Junior? I don't watch Disney Junior because I think it sounds kinda kiddy. Not judging you, just stating my opinion. Was there anything in my idea for your spoof of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy the Three Musketeers that you found to be violent? To those of you who don't know what that is, I'll show you the comment right here. Yeah, it does seem kinda violent, but it doesn't seem like a bad idea. If I ever do a spoof of that movie featuring Sora, Ash, and Spongebob, maybe I could consider using your idea if I remember, and I'll try to remember to give you credit for it. What's your favorite Disney movie or TV show? My favorite movie would be Frozen, while my favorite Disney TV show is probably The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Either that or The Lilo and Stitch Show. User 1 Campbell asks, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom? I'd probably say Tears of the Kingdom. Since the Switch has motion controls like the Wii, do you think Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight have a chance of being ported or remastered for the Switch? They're not some of the more popular Sonic games, but then again, Dark Moon and Link's Awakening have remakes. Okay, in Dark Moon's case, it's not out yet, but you get the point. So I'd say these games have a small chance of being remade on the Switch. Do you plan on making a Top 14 Organization 13 members list? Not at the moment. Vinster asks, how would you rank the five sages and tears of the kingdom by how much you like their character and ability? From least favorite to most favorite, Mineru, Tulin, Prince Sidon, Yonobu, and Riju. Favorite new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet? I'd say it's a tie between Mabosif and Vaxcalibur. Have you seen Avatar The Last Airbender? You people are going to hate me for saying this, but no I haven't. Vlagelo76 asks, Are you going to livestream playing games? I don't plan on it, for two reasons. First reason is because many years ago, I did Let's Plays, and they're just about my least viewed videos ever, with the only exceptions being some of my Fire Red Let's Play. And the other reason is, I don't have a lot of good reactions. Do you plan on making a Discord server for your community? As a matter of fact, I do have a Discord server. Warden's channel asks, What is the video you are the most proud of and why? Probably either my saddest video game moments list just because I love talking about them, or my everything wrong with videos on Superstar Saga and Partners in Time, because they both got a lot of people to my channel, and are also everything wrong with videos that I do enjoy watching. Not to pat myself on the back. White Mage Banana asks, What is probably one thing you would drastically change about the hate base for them to be normal, or at least tolerable? Stop constantly harassing people who have a different opinion than you. Especially since these issues they're complaining about aren't nearly as bad as the haters are making them out to be. With how Sword and Shield's graphics are only bad in certain places, and with how people think that Disney's remakes are the only thing you should judge Disney by. Favorite white, I mean most like female character in any media? I'll probably go with Edelgard. William Nee asks, 
Have you ever played a game that you liked so much you went back into the second playthrough not long after you completed your first playthrough? I've done that before, but I haven't done it in a while. What is it with Pokemon Snap, but that was mainly to do a Let's Play of it, even though I barely made any progress in the Let's Play itself. I also did that with Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Albia. If Pokemon were real, which one would you own as a pet? I don't know, maybe Rayquaza so I can fly anywhere and have a strong Pokemon to protect me from danger. Do you have a comfort character? If so, who's that character? I don't know, probably Edelgard since she's my waifu. WRJWRJ asks, What characters would you like to meet the first time or again at Universal Studios? Well, I would like to meet Mario and Peach, and maybe Crash Bandicoot. And maybe I could also see the Grinch there, just like I did at Universal California last Christmas. And he also said that characters that don't appear there also count, so I'd also go with Jack Frost, Link, Zelda, as well as some of the main characters in the Pokemon anime, such as Mei, Serena, Ash, and Kiawe. And yes, I know most of those are video game characters. What was your favorite cast choice you did for any of your spoofs? I have a lot of them, such as Jack and Elsa as Chris and Jessica in Santa Claus Come to Town, Iris as Hero Girl in the Meta Express, me and Edelgard as Simba and Nala in the Meta King, and as Max and Alice in my Hocus Pocus. Focus booth, Alexa as Judy Hopps in Metatopia, as well as a lot of my cast choices of Sora, especially with how I had him as DJ in Monster House, Hero Boy in Meta Express, and Thomas and Sora and Friends. What do you think Frozen 3 will be about? No clue. Frozen 2 had a plot that I don't think anyone was expecting mainly because its plot was admittedly not very good, but you get the point. But I hope it doesn't make Elsa gay. I have nothing against gays, but to make Elsa gay? Why? Why would they need to make Elsa of all characters gay? Well, looks like another Q&A has come and gone. And oh my gosh, is this really 50 minutes? That's amazing! Well, either way, thanks for sticking with me throughout this Q&A, and I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving.